Hello, my name is Jane Johnson and I'm one of the Senior Physiotherapists at People Asset Management, or PAM for short. In this five minute video, I'm going to explain to you what the musculoskeletal management referral is, why it might be useful to you. As the term suggests, the musculoskeletal management referral is used by managers to help them manage people who've got musculoskeletal conditions. It could be a long-term condition like arthritis, uh, a chronic condition, or it might be an acute condition. They've fractured a bone, twisted an ankle, banged their elbow, or they've got tennis elbow, gout in their knee, a torn menisci, frozen shoulder, plantar fasciitis, the list goes on and on. But if it's musculoskeletal, that the musculoskeletal management referral is what you use to refer that employee. So what's the purpose of it? The purpose of it is to answer questions that you might have asked us about that employee. And I'm going to read you some of the questions that we get asked uh, and so you can see if any of these are useful to you. So the first question we get all the time is, what's the employee's fitness for work? Are they fit or are they unfit? Do they require modified duties? What's the likely date of their return to work? Very important. Now, sometimes the employee is at work with a condition, but a lot of the time they're not, and obviously you want to know how soon they're going to get back to work. Is this going to be something they need surgery for? They're going to be off for three months, or are they going to be back in a couple of weeks? What effect will the condition have on the employee's ability to carry out their duties? And that's really important, isn't it? Because it might be that they can come back on modified duties, but you specifically need to know what they can and can't do. And that's one of the questions we get asked. What are the modifications you advise that we could put in place that would help that employee? Now, the clinicians are specialists in occupational health, and so, of course, they are familiar with all kinds of job roles, but we tend to allocate certain clinicians to certain clients. We can all do everything, obviously, but that means they become really familiar with the kinds of jobs and the tasks that those jobs involve. So if the person's digging holes in the road all day, or if they're a frontline employee dealing with members of the public or they're desk based or they have a very unusual job that involves some sort of uh, technical aspect of using their body something quite um, unusual we get to know the real ins and outs of what that job involves so we can advise on how the, the employee can be better managed at work and we don't just write things like you know, requires light duties, will actually be specific about what they can and what they can't do. And that's one of the questions that we often get asked. What can they do? What can't they do? One of the common questions that comes up is, will the condition occur, reoccur in the future? And again, we can advise you on whether that, what's the likelihood of that happening? Is this person going to have to manage this condition for a long period of time for the rest of their life? Or is it like to be resolved following rehabilitation or some other form of intervention? Uh, and finally, we do sometimes get asked, is the employee likely to be covered under the Disability Act? And as you know, that's a legal question, but we can um, express our opinion as to the likelihood of uh, them falling, um, being categorised as disabled or not. What's interesting about the management referral process is that you can ask us additional questions. All of the questions I've read out are standard questions and in almost every single report that we write, and we do an awful lot of them, uh, we answer those questions. But you can ask additional ones and usually we get asked about three additional ones and that might be where the manager is thinking of redeploying someone temporarily into another role and they just want to check that the physical demands of that role might be suitable or they, they want to know the specifics about a very particular and unusual activity that person does that's a manual activity and they might want to just drill down a little bit on that. But interestingly, and what's I think very valuable for yourself as a manager if you're referring someone, is that you can have a pre and a post brief consultation with the clinician. So that's a five minute call where Quite often we have uh, post-brief consultations and the person will ring up and just get a summary of what we're going to put in the report, what's been in the report. The report has different sections in it, so we've got a little background section, we have what that employee's told us about their condition and the duration of symptoms, we have our clinical opinion, and then of course we have our recommendations as to how you're going to manage that person and whether we think a review is likely. I think the information provided in that report, which is usually about a page long, is really valuable to help you manage people with musculoskeletal conditions at work. I hope you're going to use the service.